Good afternoon, this is Dr. Walker again from denwalker.com and welcome back to the channel. And um, before I start today, I'm gonna to remind folks, if you like the content of what we're talking about, give us a like uh, and some thumbs up so we can uh, continue doing what, what we're doing here. Uh, today I'm gonna to talk a little about um, natural kindness and, uh, and, and K2. Um, some discussion recently uh, and question I've had recently online regarding can you take them both? Can you take natural kinase and can you take K2 at the same time? And the answer is um, is is yes. If you've listened to me in the past in terms of what uh, I've suggested in terms of um, in terms of K2, K2, I said usually about 5,000 units of vitamin D3 uh, with about a, a hundred micrograms of of K2. So um, you're well within range. So a lot of folks will say the dose for K2 typically it should be between 100 micrograms and 200 micrograms thereabouts. So even if you were to take 100 micrograms um, of K2 um, daily and take unitokinase every couple of days, um, that that should be that should be fine. Um, so what exactly is nitokinase? Nitokinase is um, sort of a soy fermented. A fermented uh, product, um, and it's actually one of the things that is thought to uh, enable Japanese people to live so long. In terms of they eat this uh, this product pretty pretty regularly. Apparently, there's a funny smell to it, and a smell uh, and a funny taste to it as well. To some people, it reminds them of sort of a fermented um, uh, or, or blue cheese, essentially, with 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 a smell like. And there's almost almost like a slimy taste to it um, to it as well. Um, again, it's been used in uh, Asian countries, Jap Japan specifically, for for years and years. And, and, and again, safe on most profiles. Uh, the only um, thing I would suggest to people is that if you're on blood thinners, then obviously be careful and talk with your doctor about that. Or also, if you have surgery planning, um, let them know about that as well uh, and, and stop that uh, as well, because that can cause you some... Uh, potential bleeding disorder. It has not been proven that way, but it's 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 presumed that way. So remember again, K two is that uh, is that thing that's going to help to pull the calcium from the soft tissues and blood and put it into your bone. Um, the uh, natokinase actually has a specific kind of K two. It's called the MK seven, which for the most part is a, is the most uh, common one that people buy when they buy the supplement um, K two. But there's there's probably Ten different versions of of, of K two, um, and for the most part, they're, they don't typically um, counteract each other. They typically supplement each other for the most part. It will do different things. The the the, the different versions of the MK uh, version. I think it goes from like uh, MK uh, four to like uh, thirteen thereabouts. But the point is that there is about ten different versions, and the most common one is you buy when you buy it in the store is usually the uh, the MK seven, which is the same one as a natural kindness, which is the reason that some people would question whether or not they should take both uh, natokinase and and uh, and the uh, uh, K2. Now, the reason I'm talking about uh, natokinase, um, and, and, and for a lot of folks, this could be beneficial. So as you well know, there are some things that we are now putting in our bodies that um, make us hypercoagulable. So in other words, you, you have increased risk for, for blood clotting or blood clot formation. Natokinase is one of the few things that I know of that's over the counter or, or the supplement form that you can buy that does two things which, is prof which are profoundly important. So typically like aspirin, is, which is one of the things that people have talked about in terms of people should take an aspirin, a baby aspirin, some people, um, especially if you're trying to prevent clot formation, um, it helps to prevent clot formation. The difference between um, natokinase and um and, and this is that, um, and like an aspirin, for example, is that natokinase does both. It does the clot prevention part of it, but it also does something else that's remarkable, right? It breaks down tiny clots. So it, it does two things. It does one, prevent clots from forming, and then it breaks down tiny, small clots. And again, what I'm saying is a lot of folks are hypercoagulable to some degree. Right, whether or not you have a big clot in the middle of your in the middle of your lung that you can actually see, or you have tiny peripheral uh, thrombi, which can um, lead to things like stroke and worsening heart disease, and right, right. Um, instead of having those tiny smaller clots going peripherally and into your brain and into your lungs, and whatever else, cause you long-term problems. Natural kinase, and again, because of the hypercoagulable state that some of us are now uh, in. Um, natokinase helps to prevent some of those things, help to prevent the strokes, 
uh, heart disease and whatever else and blood clot formation um, if taken obviously uh, appropriately. So a lot of folks would say um, take it maybe every couple of days, not every day. It's, it's kind of difficult to tolerate, um, especially if you're not used to that that taste and that smell. It's, it's it, it may be difficult for you to sort of get used to it. Um, so one way that I've seen people take it, which seems reasonable to me, and I'm, I'm not really a rice proponent. I'm, um, it's, it's sort of my Achilles heel, essentially. So I'm trying to get away or do away with rice altogether. But um, adding rice, um, adding narrow kindness to some rice, um, and people put like some green onions, and some people go a little further and they put like an egg on, on it, um, just to sort of make it more tolerable to eat. So you can put a little bit of natto on, on that, or people put it in soup, or they put it on their salads and whatever else, um, just to be able to, to to tolerate or to mask that um, that flavor, if you would. Um, so th that's one, I think, a decent way of doing it. Um, or you can just do it sort of just by itself, right? And th there are several different versions of it. Some actually come in that soybean look. Some can actually come in sort of micro beans or perhaps even grated um, uh, versions of it. Now, important again to remember about K2 that you're taking. K2 is a fat soluble vitamin, which that means then you need to have some fat, good fat associated with it, uh, taking with it. So like avocados, the pistachios, the macadamia nuts. In fact, that's the other thing that some people will tend to do. They'll tend to put the natto on things like an avocado, um, which, which give you that good fat to help to digest or to utilize that MK7, that K2 version. Um, so a little bit of fat, avocado, for example, would work with, well work well with that. Or I uh, think like coconut oil or um, olive oil, avocado oil, any of those things to help to get that K2 to sort of do do its thing. K2, D3, I mentioned before, fat soluble vitamins, take it with some um, good fats and that should help to uh, get those things mobilized the way they need to be mobilized and absorbed the way they need to be absorbed so they can actually help you um, uh, uh, do good with your calcium and calcium levels and a plethora of other things that they're all uh, good for. Anyway, um, so so again, the end is that, yes, you can take uh, natokinase with uh, with K2. Um, for most people, they're taking maybe 100 micrograms because they they're probably not taking more than 5,000 units of of, uh, of D3. So, um, and, and then with that, they would be taking 100 micrograms of the K2. So if, you, if you're doing that, and you're doing um, natto every other day or thereabouts, that should be well tolerable for most people. And again, if you are taking things like blood thinners, you're know, including and warfarin and those kind of things, or having surgical things planned, then um, definitely step off of that and talk with your provider about about that. And again, you may have to educate them in terms of what natto kindness is, but that's what we're doing, trying to educate people in terms of uh, what wonderful supplements are out there as opposed to the conventional uh, big pharma um, Items. Anyway, thanks for listening. Take care of yourself, Dr. Walker.